Thanks, Bree. Every fall, we look forward to hearing the latest prediction about our upcoming winter weather. Throughout the year, NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, has forecasters hard at work at its Climate Prediction Center, putting together the most accurate seasonal outlooks possible. But for centuries, we humans have watched nature for signs that would give them clues about what the upcoming winter would bring. So today, meteorologist Jim Duthie takes a look at nature's weather predictors and what they have to say about our upcoming winter season compared to what science says we can expect. When it comes to predicting long-term winter weather, modern science and technology offer us a lot of things to consider. El Nino, La Nina, the North Atlantic Oscillation, the Arctic Oscillation, the Polar Vortex, and even a Pacific Decadal Oscillation. But putting aside the scientific indicators of the long-range winter outlook, let's take a look at a few natural weather predictors, things all around us that, according to folklore, can tell us a lot about what the upcoming winter weather will bring. For hundreds of years, we didn't have modern science and technology to provide weather forecasts and outlooks. Our ancestors had to watch the natural signs and weather patterns to know when to plant and when to harvest crops. Their livelihoods depended on it. One of the most popular folklore indicators for predicting winter weather has to do with a fuzzy little guy known as Pirhartia isabella, better known as a woolly bear caterpillar or a woolly worm. It's the larva of the Isabella tiger moth, and it can be found throughout most of the country, including here in Idaho. Supposedly, a large number of woolly worms is a sign of a cold winter ahead. The dark bands of the woolly worm predict cold and snowy weather, while the lighter orange or brown bands predict milder weather. So the wider the dark bands, the more severe the winter will be. But the wider the lighter bands, the milder the winter will be. There are even a number of woolly worm festivals held around the country each fall to zero in on what the creepy crawly forecasters are predicting for their following winter. So what are Idaho woolly worms telling us about our upcoming winter? A lot of people have been posting pictures on social media of woolly worms they've been seeing. So does that mean that there are more woolly worms than usual? Or is it just that there are more people posting pictures of them? All of the pictures I've seen of woolly worms seem to show a distinct, fairly wide orange band, which would indicate that we're going to have a somewhat mild winter. But that doesn't mean that there won't be a cold snap or a snowstorm now and then. Still, we'll put woolly worms on the side of predicting a mild winter. The thickness of fruit and vegetable skins and the toughness of nutshells and corn husks is supposed to predict what the winter will be like. If the skin is thin, a mild winter will come in. If the skin is tough, Winter will be cold and rough, but the skins on this apple and onion don't seem to be much different than normal. Maybe they weren't grown locally, but if the skin ends up being thicker and tougher than usual, indicating a cold winter ahead, it could leave a bad taste in your mouth. I'll go with a mild winter on this one. Here's an interesting one about flowers. When flowers that typically bloom in spring have a second bloom in the fall, we can expect a harsh winter. This fall, lots of people noticed some of their flowers blooming again in September and October, like this delphinium, this iris, and this hibiscus, flowers that normally bloom in the spring and early summer. So according to the folklore, we'll put this one in the category of predicting a cold winter ahead. You might have noticed that the leaves on Treasure Valley trees changed color a little later than usual this year. In fact, even now, some trees' leaves are still green. According to folklore, the later the peak of color, the colder the winter will be. So here's another one for a colder winter ahead. Finally, let's take a look at the calendar. One saying is that if October 9th is sunny and warm, then the winter will be cold and snowy. I don't know why they picked the 9th of October, but it's worth noting that in Boise on October 9th, it was sunny and warm in the upper 70s. So that would mean a cold and snowy winter. But another saying says that a cool August following a hot July means winter will be hard and dry. We had a hot July in Boise, but August was also very hot. So this one goes on the side of a mild winter. So what's the score for these folklore winter predictions? It seems to be a draw. Three for a mild winter and three for a colder, snowy winter. Maybe that means we'll see near normal to slightly cooler and wetter than normal conditions. Now let's see what the science has to say. The winter outlook from NOAA's Climate Prediction Center says that southern Idaho will likely see overall temperatures that will be near or slightly cooler than average from December through February. As far as precipitation goes, particularly mountain snow, the third consecutive La Nina winter we're having will likely bring us near normal to slightly wetter than normal conditions. Sounds like the woolly worms and the human forecasters aren't that far apart on their winter predictions this year. 
a win-win for both science and nature. Jim Duthie, Idaho's News Channel 7.